Hi, welcome back to All Around the Home. Today I'm going to be tackling a cabinet in my kitchen. Uh, this cabinet is an overflow of our plastic containers uh, that we have from takeout, etc. But it also has uh, some small appliances that we do use, not on a regular basis, but um, we do use them um, every few weeks or so. So I'm going to be going through the cabinet, um, recycling some of the containers and any other items that I don't usually use maybe relocating them to a spot um, that is handy but not in the kitchen. And then I'll show you be, um, the process afterwards. Here's the cabinet in our kitchen. Um, it's a double cabinet on the bottom that we will be going through today. I'm going to show you what we currently have in here before we uh, pull everything out. Um, these are all the items that uh, are normally plastic uh, related. There's some small appliances in here, as I mentioned, um, but we have a lot of uh, Tupperware and takeout containers that was left over from a meal. Um, we usually go to this cabinet uh, when we send leftovers with uh, friends and family home, um, but this cabinet has way too much for what we need. So we're gonna pull all those items out today and then uh, put back what we could use, as well as a few containers we'll keep uh, and then I'll show you that process as I go through it. So the first part of the process is I'm pulling out everything that I have in this cabinet just to see what is there. And as I pull out the items, I am uh, determining the like items and gathering them together in one pile. Uh, the small appliances I'm putting in its own pile. And then anything I don't want right away, I'm going to be tossing to the side. Now that all the items are removed, I'm just going to give the cabinet a quick wipe down. Uh, there wasn't too much uh, stuff in here to clean, um, but I am just getting rid of some uh, crumbs and the, some dog hair and stuff that got in the cabinet. So as I go through the containers, I'm just uh, pairing up like items. I have several containers that are around the same size and they stack well. Um, so I'm just making sure that I have enough lids to match up with those uh, containers and then recycling anything I don't um, have a lid for or uh, a container for. The next step of the process is to uh, just return all the items back in. I'm just trying to figure out uh, where I want to keep them in the cabinet, um, what items I'm using more regularly I'm going to keep towards the front, and uh, the items I don't use as much I'll keep towards the back. Also I'm uh, gathering uh, some of the smaller pieces that are for the blender in its own container, that way they're easily accessible uh, when I do use the uh, magic bullet we have. So as you can see, I've gotten rid of quite a bit of items and it's now actually fitting properly in here. It's not such an overflow like before. 
I had matched the containers with their lids, that way I had the same amount of lids per container. And uh, all the appliances do uh, fit in here um, and they're a little bit more accessible now uh, as they're towards the front before it was a lot of containers, so I was afraid to pull anything out. Uh, the containers that we are recycling is this pile. And as you can see, there's a lot of plastic. Um, we're going to actually give this milkshake a mixer uh, to a new home. Um, but these items are no longer going to be in the cabinet cluttering up everything, which I'm super excited about. Um, but thanks very much for joining again today. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.